the fog has finally pushed away from up here. Uh, I was going to shoot a lot earlier today, uh, but we had fog and visibility was about a hundred yards and that looks super, super pretty when filming. Uh, it's not so great whenever shooting at 450 yards um, <laughs> on a white target in white fog. Uh, but it, it looks like the sun's finally poking through up here. Uh, there's still quite a bit of fog down in the valleys, but we're we're finally free up here. I had to wait about eight hours. I didn't know if the fog was going to clear out. This is my last day to shoot this week. Uh, got about two inches of rain last night, too. Not here, thank God. I think only got like about an inch, but came down pretty hard, apparently. So... I'm going to go get everything set up. We have a lot of videos to shoot today. I will be right back. I think I'm going to get the, uh, hang on. I think I'm going to get the worst one out of the way first, uh, which is the man silhouette ipsic target. Uh, and I have to hoof it out to about 400 yards, 450 yards. I don't know where I want to go. But it's a T-post stand, so I have to drive a T-post into the ground. I don't have a post driver. I'm just going to hit it with a hammer. Got a sledge with me. But since I don't drive through the pasture, I do have to hoof the, uh, it's a it's a 45-pound IPSC target. No, 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 no. I've got the 50%. So it's like 25 pounds. But at 25 pounds, 5-pound sledge, and the T-post are all going out there, so I'm going to get that out of the way. I'll be back. Whew. I envy all 12 of you watching because you didn't have to make that trek. You can see we're not that far away from the 750. Um, right there. And not that far away from the plate, but you can see way up there is the bench. So I just got to decide where I want it. I'm kind of hoping to find a, a, a no pole. For those of you who don't know what a no pole is, it's a snake hole. I mean, the ground's soft enough today. I'll be all right. I just didn't want to drag a, a fucking fence post driver out here with me because they're heavy. My bag's just laying upside down. Whatever. All right. Let me just set you guys on the ground. And y'all can whistle while I work. Of course, I dropped this in the mud earlier because there was a snake. Let's go hang this little fudger up here. Alrighty. Alright, you guys still with me? Nice. Nice little AR500 still plate. I only made it to 350 yards because my health is still not great. And it is a uh, a 50% IPSC, so it's not giant. I just got a really good deal on it. Same guy who makes all my plates out here. I think he's starting to do more stuff, I don't know. 
If I can ever find a, a link for his stuff, I'll put it down in the description below. Because they're really good. That was a blim. Um, the holes were not quite to the correct size for Ipsic. It'd be fine if I had them chained, but I actually wanted that one on a spring hanger. That's going to be hard to see today. Thank God that fog finally moved off the hill. Should have brought my spray paint out with me. I wasn't really thinking. It is muggy today. I think they said some places got like seven inches of rain last night here in Colorado. It's a lot. We only got it like an inch, but we've had it. I feel like I live in the swamp now. <laughs> Backside of the big plate that Vinny screwed up. That's becoming quite the good plate. You can see that's 270. At 250 yards, it doesn't do nothing. We got a few guns to shoot today that I think you guys will like, so. But yeah, this is improving the range continued. Building a better range. Saw the two-part series where I put that one up. This will be a short video today on that guy. I'm going to go shoot it. But that'll be a different video. So thank you guys so much for being here. Good luck. God bless. And I will see you in the next video. Shooting that thing, actually. So stay tuned for it. There might be some reviews in between. So you guys might not see this video for a while, but you'll enjoy them too. Bye-bye.